Hey, it's Willie Crawford here, and I'm a very big fan of creating products by doing webinars. Where on the webinar, I teach a topic, often with an expert involved, and then after we um, do the webinar, as we do the webinar, we record it, then we take those recordings and we sell them, or we give them away for lead generation, or we put them in a membership site, or use them some other way. The problem with using GoToWebinar is that it uses a proprietary encoding formula that while you can save the recording to your local hard drive and I do as a WMV file, that WMV file has some extra stuff in it that doesn't really allow you to conveniently uh, edit it in most editing software and so what you have to do is after you save it to your local hard drive you have to run it through some type of a, a software program to strip away some of the coding behind the scene and the way I do it is I use Windows Media File Editor so I have uh, recently done a webinar that I'm going to show you exactly how I strip it away and prepare that file for use in um, Camtasia which is my preferred video editing software so the first thing I do is I I use Windows Media File Editor uh, which um, if it's not installing your machine, just Google Windows Media File Editor. It was free, if I'm not mistaken, and you just download it, install it. And so uh, you start up Windows Media File Editor, and uh, you go under File, and you're going to look for the file you want to edit. So open. This was uh, Camtasia that I used, and Camtasia, I'm sorry, it wasn't Camtasia. It was uh, GoToWebinar. GoToWebinar on my machine. Uh, saves files under users. So um, this is my C drive under users, uh, my name, and then under um, on my machine I save it under my documents. So this file here is one I just did on uh, how to get powerful results with solo ads and that's Jason Benoit shown in the picture there we did it together so I select this file and I open it and you can see it shows here connecting and then it shows stopped that means it's opened the file now what you need to do before you can work with this file in a video editor uh, is you need to move uh, some coding out of the file into into the header and so I'm going to export I'm sorry I'm going to move the script to the header so Again, I open the file in Windows Media File Editor, and now I'm going to move the script to the header. And all I do is click that, and it asks me, okay, where do you want to save this uh, revised file? And so I'm going to tell it um, where I want it saved. And uh, so I'm going to go on my C drive, uh, and I have a folder I called, um, I don't know, Webinar Recordings. So I tell it I want to save in this folder, and then I just give it a name. And uh, since this is on solo ads, I'm just going to call it solo ads. And it it actually gives you two different choices for your WMV file. I I save it as this WMV uh, format here. The second one that Windows Media File Editor allows. The other one, uh, I'm sorry, it's Windows Media Video Files is what I save it as instead of a Windows Media File. So um, I select that and I click Save and you can see it says it's processing. What it's doing is it's moving that script that won't allow the file to be edited properly out of the header. And it may be overkill but it, it's already done it. What I then do is I actually go back and open that same file again which is now in the webinars recordings and uh, I called it uh, solo ads. I open that same file again and I uh, move the script to the header again and what I'm doing it and then I'll call it solo ads too and the reason I do that is because I, I've done it a couple times where um, after I did it, the file still didn't want to play properly, so I just do it twice. If the script's already moved to the header, it really can't move it again, but if it's still there for some reason, then it can. So I'm calling it Solo Ads 2, and it processes it again. Again, it's looking for that script to move it out of the way. And now I can open this file I've just saved in um, Camtasia Studio or something like that and edit it, uh, and, and it plays nicely. Uh, and, and the problem that... You, that 
I was having with the unedited file is I would open that file in Camtasia um, and I would edit it. Uh, I can even show you that. Uh, this is Camtasia Studio. So to open the file, you just um, import media. And this is my webinar recordings. And I'm looking for solo ads too. Just open it. Boom, there's your file. And for us Camtasia lovers, we would grab this file, which tells me it's an uh, hour, six minutes long. And we drop it right here. And it gives us editing dimensions and a bunch of other things. And, and what you do, of course, in Camtasia is you spread this file out on a timeline. And you can separate the video from the audio track if you want to. I don't do that, though. But, uh, you know, you can you can magnify it, expand it out, and you could pick, you know, individual coughs or sneezes or breaths or whatever and highlight those and using the scissors here, cut that out. And after you've got the video the way you want it, then you produce it or share it by going up here and under Produce and Share, you just select Produce and Share and all of a sudden you've turned that WMB into an MP4 or something like that. The problem with the unedited one that go to webinar produces is it traditionally will start uh, encoding when you tell it to produce uh, and it'll hang up on you at a couple minutes and it'll just sit there and uh, you know it used to sit there for hours and I thought okay it'll eventually stop but it won't because there's extra coding that go to webinar puts in the file that screws things up so this is how I, I get rid of that and now you know I, I'm sure this is this part here is probably small talk before I started the webinar and then we started and then there was something in here so you know I, I would expand this on the timeline, listen to it, and as I go through, cut out the parts I don't want. And it could be just something where I'm saying um or um or something like that, you know. And at the end, maybe some awkward moments where we've finished and we, we are, you know, don't have a nice clean uh, goodbye. Or you made little mistakes in your video. So I, I feel free to go through my videos, edit them, and after I'm happy with the editing, then I uh, produce it and share it. And so I, I could turn it to an MP4, for example, upload to YouTube or share it in a membership site or, again, create a product to sell. So all that was to say this is how I edit videos. Again, um, I use Windows Media File Editor because I'm on a Windows machine. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you'd use something differently. I, I move the script to the header, and I do it. I process the file twice. Uh, once is probably sufficient it's just that I've done it before and gotten so frustrated with it that I've gone back and did it over and over again and I discovered okay if you do it twice it, it's like overkill but it works and so that's the way I do it this is Willie Crawford and if you'd like more tips from me uh, I invite you to subscribe to my newsletter at WillieCrawford.com where I share with people in every issue of my newsletter how I run uh, my business and how I built a very successful internet business over the past 16 years and uh, what's working now and what's not working and how to use simple tools like this. Thanks for listening.